Hey guys, what's up today? We are going to be returning to our Pokemon Brick Bronze Let's Play. And last time we left off, the city is going down, and we have a limited amount of time thanks to the help of Palkia and Dialga, who has sent us back in time to attempt to uh, t stop the admin that has planted explosives in the sewers so the city would fall. So we need to find this dang thing what do we oh it's the it's the one room the one room oh yeah best thing about it no pokemon encounters no repels no nothing we can run through this like it no i still had that on it's time's frozen i'm not gonna run into anything like hello i'm not gonna run into anything time's frozen all right this is what this has to be where he was there we go we have to stop him. There's the Team Eclipse Goon setting up the explosives now. Now's our chance to stop him. Oh no. It looks like time has resumed. We have to stop him now. Is it red in or green out? Or green in, red out. Well, it's 50-50. You really are about to risk this? Hey, how did you two get in here? It doesn't matter. We're here to stop you two. Oh, you are? Well, I'll have you know that I'm a Team Eclipse admin. I'm not exactly a pushover. If you want to stop me right now, you'll have to beat me in a battle. That's not a problem. Dylan will certainly beat you, and when the battle is over, you will pack up here and leave for good. My, my, you're a sassy one. Something must have made you really angry before getting here. Yeah, you could say that. We don't have much time, so let's get the show on the road. Say no more. You're in for some disappointment. Here we go, Team Eclipse battle. What a sick background. This is awesome. Oh yeah, we still have Absol. Oh, yeah. But I want, I want Eggy back, dude. Eggy carries our team. Just kidding, he doesn't. He sucks. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. Psycho cut. Let's hope for the best. Mega Evolve. Why does he turn into like a unicorn or something? Like what the heck is this? No, Pegasus. Self-destruct, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, because we're blowing up the city. Ah, I, I, okay, I guess I can accept that one time. Another Electrode. Yes, you know, I'm just sending in Tanker to take the hits. He can take it. Yo, send me back in time, but you don't send my Pokemon back in time like hell. Mud shot. They're just gonna spam explosion, but Tanker can take it. He's a tank. That's why his name is Tanker. And his name will be Juggernaut, so. Does he really just have a full team of, like, electrodes? He, he does. Did he really not come down with any other Pokemon? Like, I can easily take all these hits. It'll be fine. Watch. Tanker gonna tank it. Look. Tanker's got it. He, uh, he's obviously gonna take too many hits, because he's already at 51%, but Tanker can handle a ton of hits from these, like, oh, Soul Rock, okay. Thankfully. Watch this snow explosion, too. Okay. That's okay. That, there you go. Alright, so no, no hits for Tanker, so if there is one more explosive Pokemon, we'll be able to take the hit. The rest of your team gained EXP points thanks to the EXP share. Houdini grew to level 49. Eclipse Admin Tyler is about to switch into Lunatone. Alright. Ah, because it's an Eclipse. Ah, no, I'm just kidding, I knew that. Alright. Tanker used Seed Bomb. Lunatone definitely has to be the uh, original, where the origin of their um, team name came from, because if you just look at their logo, Swear. Is that Tyler McBride? Well, I really blew that. Oh, Super Bomb Survival! Ah! Wow, I really underestimated this situation. You beat me, kid. Don't get too excited, though. Team Eclipse still got what they wanted here. We came for a priceless artifact that will help us reach a new world. The plan to destroy the city may have been compromised, but the plan to destroy this world is still in effect. I must be going now. So, are we gonna be sent back in time? We did it, Dylan! We saved the city! I cannot believe that this has all happened, and, oh, the god dang, this is a death breath taker, that we were able to help. Oh, hey! We just fell through the ground, hello? Hey, looks like we're back now, and the city is safe. We may have saved the city, but Team Eclipse was still able to get away with Jake. I feel horrible right now. 
He was the only he was only trying to protect us and now he's gone. If I only had been there to stop him. We have to save him, Dylan, along with your family. I will do whatever it takes right now to help get them back. Team Eclipse made a big mistake by messing with my friends. They won't get away with this. Worry not, kids. There's still time to save your friend. Yo, Jerp? What do you mean there's still time? What do you do what did you find? I did some research on the on the item that Team Eclipse stole from the museum. It turns out the prison bottle is part of an ancient legend surrounding the mythical Pokemon Hoopa. Legends say that the bottle is used to unleash Hoopa's true strength. Yes, Professor Cypress did mention that Pokemon. He said that the, they plan to use it to make themselves and Pokemon to a new world. Yes, it is true that this is the power of Hoopa. It can open portals to new worlds. What they don't know is that they are still missing a piece of the puzzle for uncovering Hoopa's location. What do you mean? They have the bottle, don't they? Isn't that all they need? The bottle simply releases Hoopa from its bound form. What Team Eclipse doesn't know is that Hoopa is asleep and sealed in a sort of tomb. You see, a legend says that long ago, Hoopa was with great power but lacked any control over itself and caused much destruction. The all-powerful Pokemon Arceus saw this and decided to cut off the raw power from Hoopa by sealing its power away in the prison bottle. As an added measure, Arceus sealed away Hoopa in a tomb somewhere beneath Crescian Island and created a special key to open it. Your parents were smart enough to only give Team Eclipse half of the information they did needed to get Hoopa. So Team Eclipse still doesn't have the key to open Hoopa's tomb? Correct. I'm tr In the truth, I believe that Dylan's parents have found the key and hid it somewhere. Somewhere in plain sight. Somewhere that Team Eclipse would never think to look. What does the key look like? There's several old tales about the key. Some say this is a it's a large golden key. Others believe it's a metaphorical password like According to an article written by Dylan's parents, it could be a small brick. Wait up. Yo, my necklace! Dylan, you don't think the necklace your parents made you could be the key, do you? Well, I'll be. Your parents must have found the key and given it to you, knowing that someone would come after them for it. They are absolute geniuses. Yeah, you are right. How did they read that? I can't even read that. That's like a hard Smash Bros. read. Dang. Nobody would suspect a child would be carrying the key to the tomb of Hoopa. Your necklace must be the key. That would explain why, how it called upon Dialga and Palkia to aid us in imbued with powers because it was crafted by Arceus. What's this about Palkia and Dialga? Oh, nothing. Alright, well I think we know what needs to happen next. Dylan, it's going to be up to you now to go after Team Eclipse and save Jake and your parents. You've proven how strong you are and I have a good feeling that there is nobody better for the job than you. Gerald is right, Dylan. You're probably the only person right now that can stop them. You've already stopped them so many times from causing so much destruction. You'll need to travel to Crescent Island. I believe this is where they have set up their base of operations. It would make m sense given that it's the location of Hoopa's tomb. Unfortunately, you cannot fly there. The winds around there, the island are far too strong. You'll need to sail there from Port Deca. Port Deca is on the east coast of Roria. Getting there will require you to get to back to the Kragnos Peaks and to take the Skytrain down to Route 11. From there, you'll have to travel through several roads and cities. Here, you'll need this pass to be able to, to be able to access the Skytrain. Uh, thanks, man. Dylan, I think I will stay here now with Gerald. I want to aid him in finding more information that will help us find Team Eclipse. I want nothing more right now than... <sighs> oh my god, this is... This really wins you. Right now that... Right now, that to rescue my friend in need. Jake Builder Builder was the best friend I've ever had, and I must repay his kindness. When we find more information, I will fly to you immediately and share what I can. Oh, speaking of which, I want you to have this. HMO2. Yes! Fly! Let's go! I can finally pick up Gyarados! Dang! Talk long enough. There's no telling what cat catastrophic effects would occur if Team Eclipse manages to leave this world with the Pokemon. Well then, I think it's time we get to the searching for helpful information. If you want to talk to me, talk again before you leave, you can find me at the Pokeball shop. Alright Gerald, I'll be right there. Dylan, I believe in you. I know that together we can find and save Jake and your parents. I'll be doing my best to help any way I can. I didn't get to finish saying this earlier because we were interrupted, but by doom and destruction but thank you for being such a great friend this short journey has already taught me so much and my greatest lesson learned is how important my friends are together we are strong so let's get jake back i'll see you later dylan well you heard it from her we need to
to find Builder, stop them from releasing Hoopa with our key that our parents gave us, which is honest to God, a smart move. Dang. But I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and hopefully we are able to save Builder in the next episode, or however long it takes. I don't know. So, peace off.